Welcome to Starfish Sector, folks. We are starting a brand new series of Star Sector where we are quite heavily modded. I think I have 34, 35 mods installed. There's a link to the mods in the description of the video here. So we are playing with the Nexerlin mod and a bunch of factions and, uh, and other stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into a new game. Uh, we will call ourselves, I guess, Nog Solo works. So let's do that. Uh, that guy looks a little too beat up for my taste. And let's just find something. Uh, you, for instance. That's fine. Yeah, actually, there was a guy next to him that looked quite okay as well. Yeah, we'll take him. Looks a little bit like uh, Dolph Lundgren, maybe. All right. So that's what we're going with. Then we have the intro to Nexerlin. You can well, what Nexerlin does is it essentially turns it into a 4x game. So the faction will factions will wage war, stuff like that. We can create alliances. We can take over colonies, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I also have a bunch of new factions in there and other stuff. So we will go ahead and uh, do that. You can read through all this uh, if you want. So we'll say next and start playing. Now, we could enable random call worlds, but I'm not going to do so. I, I think it's kind of nice that you know the names of the core worlds from the vanilla game. Faction settings, uh, I think. I think that's fine. We won't enable respawning. If you die, you die. And so that's factions that die so if uh, a faction is taken out it will not come back uh, then we will enable the prism freeport that's a freeport out on the galaxy map not a sector map that uh, that will be there everything else will leave as is so we won't do random starting ships we don't we won't enable vanilla easy mode. Starfare mode is a bit too hard for me, I think. So with Starfare mode, you know, other factions are more aggressive towards yours. 50% lower colony growth, 25% lower colony income. I don't think I want to do that. We won't have any starting demods, and we will not have a random starting location so we can proceed on from here now we need to choose a faction that we want to start as so we could go with three start which is hard and I'm not going to do that I am going to start out with the Sylphan R&D but let's just take a look at the factions that I've installed so we have ASP Syndicate and Arrakis Reparation Society Bladebreaker Deserters the Celestial Mount Circle, the Sol Mikoyan, uh, Diable Avionics, Hegemony is uh, uh, Vanilla, and we have the Interstellar Imperium, uh, Junk Pirates, Kadur Remnant, a lot of Chirth and Path are Vanilla, the uh, ORA, we have Pack, and we have the Persian League and Pirates which and Cinder and Diktat, which are Vanilla. We have Sylphan R&D, which we will be choosing. We have Tiandong Heavy Industries, and then we have Tritakian, which is also vanilla. So we'll choose Sylphan R&D, and we'll choose a small uh, combat fleet here. So we'll have a destroyer and two frigates: a Tora Heavy Frigate and a Salika Class Frigate. So we'll select that. But if we go back real quick, I think uh, we can see that some of the some of these uh, modded 
factions, there's a little story about them. If you look in the bottom right corner, there's a little story about uh, Kagura Remnant there. And there are for a few others. But we are going to go with the Sylphan R&D. We'll go with the Combat Small Fleet. And then we will go with an ensign here. So we won't have a whole lot of credits to begin with, but we have a small fleet. We won't have an officer. So yeah, that's what we're going with. Done. For our points here, we'll go with technology and we'll go with the terrain penalty and the maximum flux capacitors. It's not gonna help us immediately but it will help us uh, quite quickly because the minus 25 percent fuel consumption is going to be nice and the plus max one maximum burn level is going to be nice uh, quite quick uh, as well as the ability to transverse jump over here we'll get plus 10 percent ordnance points for all the ships in our fleet which is also going to be nice now I have the skill up mod installed as well. The skill up mod, mod will allow me to reach level 103, which will allow me to unlock everything here. And of course it gets harder and harder to level up as you go along, you need more and more XP to do so. Um, so the goal for this game is going to be to make an alliance and get a bunch of uh, factions into our alliance or at least it, w it won't be our alliance i guess it'll be an alliance that we are part of and those who don't want to ally with us they need to go away so we're going to try to ally with everyone that wants to and those who don't well they've sealed their own fate and are going to get destroyed. So that is going to be the game. So let's go ahead and start. The random seed that is being used, I'll put that in the description as well, so that uh, you can paste that in if you want to play along in a in a game and uh, again the mod list is in the description also so that you can install the same mods as I have installed. Right so here we are first so 34 mods up to date good so combat good. All right. so let's see where we are so we are up here in Nim I guess it's called yeah Nim star system where there is our station and the Telos uh, Tritachian Terran world okay and as you can see there are quite a few systems that are populated that are not normally populated so this 86 RN 99 yes out of terminus all of these up here are not normally populated all of these are not normally populated so yeah and there is a world out somewhere i guess that is populated as well but i'm not sure did we have i think we had the great houses installed oh no i guess we didn't So then there's no world out here that is populated, I guess. But we'll, we'll see. That's part of the fun of the game is exploring. So we are there in Nim. Let's just take a look at the system. We have Osma station there, which is our Sylphan R&D station. And we have the Talos there. Now if we check out our fleet, we have a 
Silverhead class standard destroyer, which is a it looks like a modified hammerhead a little bit. It has two disavowal PDs, two Rafael MRMs, two Dignity Pulse Repeaters, and two Embrace Pulsers. We'll take a look at those weapons in a second. And then we have the Katora class heavy frigate and the Silica class heavy frigate. Alright, so let's have a look at refitting. We're not going to do it, but take a look so this guy has dignity pulse repeater 250 damage a second is not bad it's an energy weapon so 100 versus everything we have the MRM or feels uh, it's kinetic so 200% versus shields it's a missile another pulse embrace pulser 121 damage, it's general, and then we have the P PDs down here. The weapon groups, I suppose they seem okay to me, and that's the ship I'm flying. And then we have some more uh, Raphael or Raphael, I don't know, and some more embraces and some disavowal PDs. Again. Okay, and Lucidus Tribeam. Energy suppression weapon 200 EMP and 50 damage, that's not bad. And we have this guy with an embrace pulser and two charity assault blasters. Wow, 250 damage a second. It was 714 damage a second, 250 sustained. That sounds pretty good. Alright, so that's what we have. Let's uh, check out Osma Station here. And open the com directory. We have Kane, Osma, and Hespers. Uh, Osa. And these are, I think, I guess this is a ER cover because if we look at the factions here, Sylphen R&D, no illegal commodities at all. So AI cores are allowed. And we are friendly with the Tritachion and the independence ORA kinda Imperium kinda even junk pirates kinda that's all Mikoyan micro mm. so Tritachion they don't actually allow AI cores but we are friendly with them okay but we're not going to be playing as Sylphen R&D the whole way through uh, well, we're not going to be, but well, we are going to be aligned with them, and we're going to try to get an alliance with them. Uh, but I am, at the moment, I'm commissioned by Sylphan R and D, but I want to start my own faction uh, and get my own colonies and stuff. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? So we start with this uh, Sylphan Common Tech Blueprint package would give us some ship hauls, uh, Mariana fuel and cargo, uh, tanker and freighter, Dread Eagle cruiser, Velestri class heavy cruiser, Silverhead destroyer, three other hauls, some weapons and some fighters. So that's kind of nice, we'll learn that. And we only have 20,000 so we're not going to be able to buy a whole lot. Um, how much cargo space do we have? We are actually full on fuel, so we can't carry more fuel. I want to fill up on on supplies, though. Well, actually, not yet. Let's take a quick look 
at what we can buy. So these are all Sylphen uh, ships. There are a lot of uh, new ships, some with each of the new factions. And also there are, I have a ship pack or two in there. So these ships look pretty cool. Is there anything we can afford? I don't think there is. Not really, not anything we want anyway. So let's instead of, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to take a shuttle down. Let's nod to the concerned man. Uh, 17 light years away under pirate control and he'll pay us 8,000 for it. I don't think so. Uh, let's listen to the storyteller. So the storyteller here will tell us about some special ships. So here we have a, a packed fleet commander named Gilbert Charles and a flagship, the PSS Unctious Scrambler. Uh, but we know that he's in the he's he was recently defending Petra in the Canis star system about 13 light years away his flagship is a BRT RHD class destroyer I guess that's that one uh, yes it is it has some D mods degraded engines compose compromised hull and increased maintenance but we can see that it has powerful engines, plus 7% to top speed, powerful shields, minus 6% damage taken, deadly, plus 6% damage, unstable shields, so shields are more expensive to keep up, and flux, stable flux core, so that countermands the, the unstable shields a little bit because it won't stay overloaded as long. Uh, and the crew is doubtful of Char Gilbert Charles. So we'll take note of where he is. The Panther we don't want to talk to. Right, so let's see. Do Are there any missions around? Uh, bounties that we can do? So I suppose we could do this one if we can make it there. Uh, so Hera, Hera no credits, okay, so she has, I can, well, I can Thena pirate, uh, demonic class gunship, and she has two of them, then she has a wolf, a shepherd, a rockhound, and a spade, I actually think that we can take this make 51,000 and it's for our faction or our uh, benefactors you might say what is our relationship with them 60 so we want to get that up and we want to get that up so let's try and say show on map and we want fuel range to show as well so we can't even make it there so Is there a small tanker here? There is. Let's buy that. Uh, refit it. Uh, we want it to have militarized subsystems, uh, auxiliary fuel tanks, and I suppose that's fine. And give it auxiliary thrusters as well. I don't care about giving it weapons because the idea is to not bring it, bring it into uh, into combat. So we'll just do this. Now that does mean that we probably need some more crew. Well, we do have enough, but I wouldn't mind taking a bit more. Maybe taking. Okay. They're not selling. Taking. Taking 20 more crew, so we have enough. We'll fill up on the fuel. That's actually not an option. So 
Let's fill up on as much fuel as we can. And some supplies. That's too much. There. So that's us ready to go out and find that bounty. So show on map, and we now have plenty of fuel to get out to that. But of course, I didn't see where it was. So irradiated world in a system with a red primary star in the Ramachandran Nebula. So red primary star, red dwarf, red dwarf, red dwarf. So it could be any one of those three. So let's start with you. Now, when you head out into the the, um, the world, it's dangerous and it's really, really dangerous because I have Ruthless Sector on. So I'm not actually not sure if it's Ruthless Sector or it's just Nexerilin that does it but there are remnant fleets and big remnant fleets just flying around looking for someone to destroy and of course we would prefer that not to be us so you need to keep an eye open be ready to pause and and get the heck out of dodge whenever you are flying out here in the in the universe see there are remnant fleets there those are just small ones though there are much much bigger ones man where is this we're running running low on supplies that's not good but we're almost there and she will have some supplies for us I guess but, and this is just oh, danger low we'll do a quick save now if you do get annihilated here in this game it's not the end of the world you have insurance on your ships and you'll come back with a tiny little fleet uh, but it's not something that you really want to do if you can't avoid it let's explore that not now uh, heavy ballista launcher blueprint we'll learn that exalt vrm6 blueprint uh, it's a sofa id thing the bombardier wing blueprint not bad then we have a drake plasma driver railgun these are some pretty neat stuff these are some pretty neat stuff there's a supply cache there let's take everything there that gives us gets us going on the supplies a bit again now let's see where was she we're an irradiated world so okay let's see is there an irradiated world here doesn't look like it assertive mechanic methane there's no radiated world here. So let's head out. But it's a system that might be worth coming back and checking it out. Now where is the next one? Let's head up there. We found some good stuff in there, so that's nice. Let's head in here. Whoa. There's a hostile three. That might be a threat. That could be her. 
So we'll see saved and we'll try and jump in here. What do we have? Uh, radiated world, we do. That's probably Yes it is, our bounty. Please don't kill him before we get a chance. Come on. Stop fighting you two. Can I join? No. So here we can see that I have a bit of monthly income, and that's because I am commissioned by uh, the Sylphan. Well, but now it's not a bounty anymore. Dang nabbit. Okay. That didn't go as planned. See, it's not. Dang it. Alright, let's see. Is there another bounty that we can maybe do? Close support, armor destroyer, even mining frigate. There's this one that's also over here. So we're way up there. This unit's 82,000. That we can definitely not do. But we could do one of those two here, I think. If not both. So, with an orange primary star in the... Celeronus Nebula and with a, with a burnt work in the binary star system. Okay, well, since there's fewer days left on you, show on the map. Now, this does mean that we will be out of range to get back, but we don't want to get back there, we want to get back up this way. Actually, we could. Stop by Hoopasil on the way and buy some fuel. So I think that's what we'll do. We really need to get our uh, bounties going because we are very poor. Very, very poor. So we don't have really to see these big friggin' remnant fleets out here so look at that it's a huge freaking remnant fleet just hanging about raiding and it may say that they're neutral but don't believe it Head down, buy a bit more fuel, a bit more supplies, and then head down for the bounties. We desperately need some bounties. Oops, didn't mean to hit that, hit that storm. Right, here comes Hypocil. to head in here, that's fine. And you want to be careful when moving around out here in the world, also in the core worlds, because if someone doesn't like you uh, in the core worlds, then they will attack you. So, let's see, we can... Let's black market. I kind of want to keep these weapons. We'll sell the Drake though. 
So that's a bit of cash there. Got 90 of you. 25 of you. Will we sell five of these? Yeah, I guess so. Which means that we can get a little bit more supplies. Down to 317. So, let's see, where are these bounties? Orange primary star. I guess that's you. Okay. Let's head down that way. So here we can see that some stuff is going on. So we have a relief fleet. So Sylphen R&D is sending a relief fleet to Osma Station in the Numstar system held by Sylphen R&D to address recent unrest. The convoy is being prepared and will launch blah blah blah. But this is stuff that you could raid if you want. Now we don't want to raid Sylphen stuff. We want to be friends with them, but it's worth noting possibilities to raid other uh, factions, uh, fleets, it could be worth noting, I don't, it's not necessarily worth noting. Okay. Here we are, orange primary star, and he was at... This guy, Cryovolcanic World. Right, let's do a quick save. And we are actually out of time, so we'll try and head in and deal with this bounty on the next one. So I know there wasn't much action in this, but it's early days and there will be a lot more action uh, moving forward. This is a, a tough and unforgiving game, uh, so uh, I hope you'll come back for more. So thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.